figured I'd show this to you because it's very easy to see where I've had the chicken tractor with the rabbits in it. Um, every time I plant anything, it's in some sort of a raised bed. So I've got the spiral herb garden, which technically is a raised bed. On the other side of that is my orchard, which everything is in raised beds. In my garden, everything's in raised beds. And matter of fact, the fruit trees that are back there and all of the berries are also all in raised beds. And a lot of people keep asking me why I keep spending money on this soil that I'm unloading out of my truck sitting there. And with the ground, the grass being so small, now I can show you why. Now one of the things you got to keep in mind is it rained this week, so the cracks are actually smaller. But there's this one right here. Which is indicative of clay soil. This stuff is hard as a rock. Like you just couldn't be, you just can't dig it up. See that? Do I have a knife? I have a knife. Which, what am I carrying today? Victorian ox. Let's see. We'll just use the end of it there. Of course, it breaks it up, but you got to use some force. This is really hard clay soil. And these cracks will get so big that I can literally do my fingers like this and stick my whole hand into the ground. So they'll get inch, inch and a half wide. The reason why they're so small right now is because it rained earlier this week. Several inches of rain, as a matter of fact. And let me show you something else. The rabbits start digging. And if you got rabbits, you know how sharp their claws are. They just give up. <laughs> they, they dig a little bit and they just give up because they know... The ground is just too hard for them to do anything in. So that is why I have to go and keep buying soil. Now, I would prefer to be able to buy the soil in bulk. The problem is I can't find any bulk places around here to buy soil or compost mix or, you know, a soil compost mix or something like that. So I have to keep just going and buying bag soil. And then it takes about a year for the sterile soil. There's another place where rabbits tried to dig. And they dug down a little farther there. And this is mostly a shaded area. So the ground was probably a little softer there. And I still gave up. Um, but what I was getting at is the sterile soil you buy from a store takes about a year to acclimate to your soil. For all the beneficial microbes to move up into it. Um, for you to add nutrients to it, it takes about a year. And uh, that's actually why that you see people that build raised beds and use store-bought soil, why their gardens usually don't do very good the first year. It's because all of the beneficial microbes are missing from the soil. But anyways, this is just a quick video I wanted to show you uh, why I buy bag soil and kind of go over that. And I'll go ahead and let you uh, watch me unload the last half of the soil. When working outside when it's 95 degrees, always make sure you got a bottle of water out of the refrigerator. <laughs> 